Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology video looking at the most recent updates from the 2021 census. In this video we're going to focus on data relating to the ageing population of England and Wales. While the data for the 2021 census was collected in May 21, information has been released regarding the findings of the census in short topic summaries. The first of these, looking at demography and migration, is of use to students studying the families and households topic, as it includes demographic changes, household composition, that is the structure of the household, migration, and what we'll cover in this video, the ageing population of England and Wales. Since the last census in 2011, the median age in England has risen from 39 to 40, and in Wales to 42. The median age is the middle value if all of the 59.6 million residents of England and Wales were placed in a line and is the age that person was at their last birthday, so is presented in whole numbers. In each of the different local authorities, this is also measured, which gives us an idea of where younger and older people live, and this allows local councils to plan and allocate resources effectively. The region with the oldest median age was North Norfolk, with a median age of 54, whilst the lowest median age was in Tower Hamlets in London at just 30 years of age. This follows a general trend of urban areas having younger populations, whilst rural areas are dominated by older populations, and there are many reasons for this, including access to education, facilities and financial resources. This trend can be further analysed by looking at the population of England and Wales is towns and cities. London, the most populous area of the UK, has a median age of just 35, which makes sense as many young professionals and students will live in close proximity to their workplaces and their universities. This is even more evident in other university towns such as Cambridge and Oxford, who have median ages of just 31 years. Manchester and Nottingham, two popular destinations for university and employment, also have a median age of just 31, well below the average for England and Wales. This may also be linked to migration, with migrants typically being younger and moving to towns and cities where there are higher levels of employment. The ageing population is an area of concern for sociologists as it places a strain on resources, particularly healthcare. In England and Wales, currently 11 million people were over the age of 65 on Census Day, which equates to 18.6% of the population, an increase from 2011 of 16.4%. This is predicted to continue in the next census, with less people being born and less people dying, it has the potential to impact on employment, services and the dependency ratio in the UK. That is the ratio of people of working age compared to those not of working age. The lower the ratio, the more those working have to pay in tax and national insurance to provide for those who aren't working. With such a large percentage of the population reaching their later years at the same time, this creates issues for government. Dr Aidan Young has reported that the higher costs of living in England and Wales at present will hit older people hardest, and this puts pressure on governments to ensure that policies, such as the triple lock on pensions, maintain the needs of those that have paid in to tax and national insurance for the entirety of their working lives. One feature of the census in 2021 is that it has also released qualitative research into the ageing population. Voices of the Ageing Population, published on the same day as the release of the data into the Ageing Population, examines how views around old age have changed, with many people over the age of 65 being fitter and healthier than in previous generations. This is a result of lifestyle changes and improved healthcare. The growth of the grey pound, a term used to describe markets targeted towards those over 65, and the ability to work beyond the traditional retirement age of 65 has led to increasingly diverse lifestyles of those people. Dr Elizabeth Webb, Head of Research at Age UK, suggests that in recent years there's been a greater diversity of lifestyles of over 65s due to the increased socioeconomic status, as well as increases in diversity in gender, identity and ethnicity 
demonstrating that stereotypes of poor and ill elderly people are not suitable for use in the 21st century. 